and we're going to slightly side bend and side bend and side, but keeping the same weight on both knees. What's up, Pam? But get into a high kneel. So it's not so much about the the strength in the band, it's actually about just getting our spine to be a little bit mobile. So you go to one side, through centre to the other side. So side bend, through centre, side bend, through centre, side bend, and side, and side. And now we're going to bring our elbows in and palms up and I want you to turn the palm down and reach out and then bring it back in with the palm up down and up and in that's it and exhale and inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale and in exhale and in exhale and in. And try and feel that your scapula is gliding over your ribs so you feel that it's not stuck. It's what moves to bring your arms forward. One arm and back. Other arm and back. Press your knees into your mat and press and back and press and back and press and back. Now we're going to do ten more in double time. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Now let's do a few bicep curls. Elbows by your side. What happened to your band, Jackie? Thumbs and straight. 
stretch and look under your left armpit and then take it back. Reach forward and look under the armpit and back. Forward, under the armpit and back. And just keep pressing those knees into the floor and getting a sense of your inner thighs coming towards each other. Don't let them be lazy. And last one, look under that armpit and back. And change the position of the band so you're sitting on the other end of it. And reaching up your left arm. And like the cloak. That's it, you've got a good amount there. And side bending over away from where the band is. And coming up and looking into the band. And back to center. Side bend away from the band. And lifting up, rotating and looking into it. And back to center, side bend away from it. And this time we want to try and get a little bit more weight into that right knee to really open up the ribs here on the left and reach away and up into the band, looking up into it. And back to center. Now with the thumb of your right arm, just put, push into the band. And taking that right arm away and look into the armpit and then taking it back. And stretch it away and look under the armpit of your right arm and back and reach and look under, so the band's crossing your body, and back, and sweep it out with that right thumb, looking under your right armpit, and back, last one, and around, scooping those abdominals, draw your shoulder blades down, lengthen up through the crown of your head, Sitting down on your knees. How are everybody's knees? You want to go okay, Jackie? And from here we're going to reach forward so you're still on your band and taking, I'll show you, we're taking our arms up like that, but we're going to lean forward as we do it. So we've got our hands here and we reach forward. So don't let your belly just collapse onto your thighs. Keep it lifted up. So as I go forward, I'm keeping this lifted up as I go forward, not just letting it collapse. So stretching out, make sure it's even both sides. And inhale, exhale, and Reach the arms forward, lift the abdominals, reach the hands forward up over your ears and your tailbone reaching the other way. Draw those abdominals in and inhale, sit tall and arms go slightly behind you. Bring them back to the side and exhale, reach forward, scoop the abdominals and tailbone lengthens down towards the floor. Arms come back slightly for a stretch. Inhale, exhale, reach the arms to the side. Arms up towards your ears. Draw the abdominals in. Arms out to the side, sit tall and back. Two more to go. Inhale, exhale, arms come out and they reach forward towards your ears. And bring them back. 
back as your crown of your head reaches tall to the ceiling. Arms go back. Last one. Exhale. Reach the arms out. Long. Arms by your ears. And back. Arms go back slightly. And have a wee little rest. Let your head wobble around. And last one with the band. We're going to take the arms out to the side so there's a little bit of a, a tension on the band. Because we're going to do 10 circles one way, 10 circles the other. Let's lift up off our butt a little bit. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other way. And one, two, three, four. Lift the crown of your head to the ceiling. Scoop the abdominals in. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, that got them warmed up, didn't it? Okay, just shake the arms around. And we're going to stretch out by... Straightening our arms out, interlace the fingers and doing a little circle with your arms. So as I go over to my left, I'm reaching the right arm and it goes forward a little bit. And as I go this way, I reach it that way. So there's a little bit of a stretch, 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 stretch. And they can even start to rotate around and around and around and around. And see if you can go the other way. Around, around, and around. Get that some blood flow up through the wrists and to the forearms. And press the palms of your hands towards me in an up stop sign. Pinkies go down. Five, four, three, two, one, four, fists. Turn them around. And then we go point of finger, two, three, four, five, to a down stop sign. Now we're going to lift up with our pinkies. Five, four, three, two, one, fist. Around. Point of finger up. One, two, three, four, five. Pinkies down. One, two, three, four, five, fist. Point of fingers lead and down stop sign, let the head not hold tension and up with the pinkies and around. Up stop sign, one up, one down, one up, one down. And are our collarbones nice and wide? Thank you, Tia. And shoulder blades down, 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 and flop it, flop it, flop it, flop it. Flop it. Oh. So that, hopefully, if any of you have been forward for the day, that will open you up. So place the band to the side and come into cross-legged position. So cross the legs over behind and sit down. And have your left leg in front. Up, left elbow, and up, 
right elbow and up. Elbow and arm. Push up and head elbow and arm. Push up. Just to be aware of the breathing, we will do the breath in as we do the side bend because that will allow us to open up into the ribs. And then we use the power of the exhale to come back up. Okay, we're going to do two more sets. And we start right. Ready? Breathing it in. Breathe out, don't move. Next, inhale, head goes and inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale and elbow and exhale, whole arm. And exhale, up, help, whole arm. Exhale, up, back to the head and exhale up. Inhale and exhale and elbow and exhale, elbow and exhale, hold up, inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale, arms are forward, curl down, reach, 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 reach. Hopefully getting a nice stretch through your spine and into the side of the glutes. Reach and forward. And then walking around towards your left knee for a stretch down through your right torso, right shoulder. And moving around to the other side. And reach, reach, reach. And come back. to go and the leg that's in front, which is your left leg, pick it up and place it on top of your right. And walk yourself down, ready for your clam position. So making sure that your heels are in line with your butt and you've got this gap between your waist and the mat. So that you've really lengthened your hips away. Now you guys are all experience of doing clams, so this is just warming us up. So let's not rely on the floor, let's put our hands on our hips. So Jackie, in this position you might need to bring your laptop lid down a little bit and inhale down. Scooping through here and lengthen and open, lower down. And exhale. And in. Exhale and in, exhale, and in, exhale, can everybody just give me a thumbs up if you can already feel those deep lateral rotators working, yes, yes, and open, and lower, scoop the abdominals in, really draw them in to support you through the pelvis, and hold, we're going to do four extensions here. Extend the legs, still in external rotation, so really working through that. And a bend. And extend. And bend. Extend. And bend. Extend. And bend. Extend. Now turn that leg in and place it down to the knee. Externally rotate it to the clap. Knees to knees and toes to toes. Knees to knees, breathing it in, breathing it out. Breathe it in, breathe it out. Scoop the abdominals. Opening the ribs here, contracting the abdominals as you turn out. And in, and out and in and out last two and out last one and out now i want you to straighten your leg out and turn it in and you're going to bring it forward slightly so that it's in line with the thigh that's in front you're going to flex it you want to really reach your heel towards your camera. Reach it, reach it, reach it. 
We're going to do 10 little pulses out there. Breathe in, prepare, and pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Point it, take it back behind you, flex it, and do ten pulses there. Reach the heel away, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bend it in, swing it forward, and give yourself a little bit of a cat. Loosen that up. And bend the legs. And now we're going to do a nice stretch for our spine and chest openers. So make sure your shins are parallel to your mat in front. And take yourselves into a tucking position with your arms at 90 degrees of flexion. And if you're comfortable putting your head down, that's great. If you need a little bit of elevation, you can roll your mat up a bit, or if you've got a ball or a pillow. So inhale, and open that arm up so it's just horizontal abduction of the arm, and your eye line follows. Exhale, rotate the spine, keeping the arm in line with the chest. Take a deep breath over there, inhale, exhale, draw the shoulder blade down, Closing arm down. Two more of those. The pan is that okay with your shoulder? So maybe if, it's, if anyone's got shoulder problems and it hurts a little bit, no need to keep it long like this. What you can do is what we call telescope. So slide the hand in across here and just to there so your elbow gets to the floor. And then you come back, elbow to the ceiling, and slide it along. Did that feel better? Little? Good. So you're still getting the nice rotation through the spine. And back. And when you come back this last time, I want you to draw a nice circle overhead and if you feel that that gets like caught in your shoulder, relax your shoulder. Go a little bit further to open your armpit and then relax the armpit. And then keep your arm softly bending and around and back. A few little circles.
sense of you spiraling the thigh bone around in the hip as you lengthen your knee nice and long away from your hips. And exhale, rotate it around, draw the abdominals in and lower. Exhale and lengthen that, rotate that leg and lower. Putting a little bit of pressure of the top foot into the bottom foot will intensify the work through the rotators. And inhale and exhale. Let's just make sure we're all in neutral pelvis, so top hip stacked on top of the bottom. Not too flat in your back, not too arched. Now hold the leg up there and we do our five leg extensions. Extend while still in external rotation and inhale, tap it back to the toe. Exhale, extend. Inhale, come in. Exhale, extend. Inhale, come in. Exhale. And inhale. Two more. Exhale. And in. Exhale. Now we're going to track our knee to make meet our other knee on the inhale. Try and keep those hips stacked, don't let them roll forward. Exhale, toe to toe. Inhale, knee to knee. Exhale, toe to toe. Inhale, knee to knee. Exhale, toe to toe. Inhale, knee to knee. That's looking more sturdy, everyone. And exhale. Draw those abdominals in. Inhale, get the ribs open in here. Exhale. And in. And out. One more after this. And inhale. And exhale. And now we're going to straighten the leg. You should be feeling it in here by now. And you're going to take that leg slightly forward so it's in line with the bottom thigh. Flex the foot, reach it this way, and 10 little pulses. And one, two, three, four. Don't forget to use your abdominals so you don't bounce around in your pelvis. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Point the toe and take it back behind you. Flex it, reach the heel long way, all the way out the back door, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sweep it all the way forward, a little bit of a hamstring stretch there too, place it on the floor, give it a little bit of a pat and a cuddle. And bring it back and bring the legs so that your shins are parallel to the mat and the arms at 90 degrees of flexion clapped together. And inhale, open the arm, turn your head, rotate it towards the right and then your spine rotates and you open up the chest, reaching as long as you can, breathe in there. And exhale, come down with the shoulder blade as you stack up and close the arm. Inhale, open. Exhale, rotate. Inhale here. Exhale, draw the shoulder blade down, get into your external obliques, support with your abdominals in the lower abdomen, and close. One more. Inhale, open. Exhale, rotate. Inhale here. Exhale, come up. And close down. Now we're going to do our four circles. Really take it gently, drawing a circle. And if you feel tension here, you relax it. You go a bit further, relax the armpit. Relax your shoulder blade and rotate around. And nice and slow. And you know, don't be rigid with the spine. If it 
wants to arch a little, let it arch. And then as you come back in, it might curl a little. And reach in. And just feel how much range you might get without causing too much stress in the shoulder or the spine. Last one. And place this top hand on the front and use that as a lever to get you up and turn towards your feet. You're going to wake up your abdominals a little bit now. So, bending your legs up to 45 degrees. And arms up. Sit nice and tall up onto your sits bones. And then have an engagement through these back shoulder stabilizing muscles. Inhale, exhale, roll just off your sits bones. And then Scoop your abdominals in towards your spine and opening the ribs at the back. So you've created a really nice C curve. Inhale, roll forward, draw your shoulder blades down and sit tall. Let's really try actively engaging the inner thighs, so squeezing the inner thighs together. And inhale, off six bones, scoop the abdominals, open the back line and close the front line of your body. And inhale, forward and sit tall. Exhale, roll back, scoop the abdominals, open the sacral area and the ribs and keep those abdominals deeply working as you squeeze your inner thighs together and inhale, roll up, exhale, scoop and roll. 